Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the final episode of season two of The Rising of the Shield Heroes. It's gotta get started in three, two, one, go. Was that supposed to start? I don't think it was supposed to start. Like, oh, okay, no, yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. We're... Okay. <laughs> Was not expecting that, but okay. Yeah, it's impossible. You would think there's like some way that they could communicate with each other, but... Yeah, this is gonna be similar to like that one episode.
But it looks cute on you. So yeah, it's important to her, so no. It's good to have small talk. Which is so crazy. Lonely. I mean, there's gotta be fish around the beach. That's a big ass fish. <laughs> Salt crust. Poor baby. She literally just had the same thing every night. Like, oh. It ain't gonna be that easy. Uh, of course. Uh -huh. 
And she's probably not even that far off. Oh, no, she is pretty far. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Frederica from 86 need to take notes on that. Like, oof. Good thing I'm watching that tomorrow.
Oh, my baby, she's trying too hard. Well, baby, you a baby. <laughs> Damn, that's how we ended it? Oh, okay.
that was good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Final thoughts on this whole season as a nutshell. I mean, it was, let's just say, a roller coaster. I mean, there were good episodes. There were bad episodes, and then there were episodes in the middle. We all know that. I mean, overall, but the season was enjoyable. Um, is it sad? Yeah, it is sad that it's over. Yes, it truly is, because I think, as I've said leading up to this finale, um, as someone who was really, really excited for this, and then was hella excited every single week, and then we got to a point where it, like, wasn't the greatest and how slowly but surely it felt like a lot of people were dropping this show and I was like look I'm just gonna see how this ends that was that was the goal it's always the goal just to see how something ends unless something gets really really boring island you were one of them I'm sorry um and or it gets very predictable island once again um, or a couple of others that I've seen that I've ended up dropping after, like, week six or week seven for a show. Because it's like, oh, okay, that's gonna happen? Alright, I'm out. But it was still good. It is... It was interesting. I, I will say the first half was more interesting than the second half. Still, but I did enjoy the second half. And seeing, like, Yuzuna and Glass and Tedis and, you know, Lark and everything. And seeing their world and their home... That was really interesting and stuff, but I felt like, even with last week, the end of Dude was so anticlimactic, and it felt like, I'm guessing maybe for, like, the light novel he possibly comes back? I don't really know. That's the thing. For, like, an episode that was mainly filler for it, I think it was a good finale. I love the fact that we got to see, you know new scenes and scenes that we had already seen from previous episodes, which was good. I have no problem with that because of the fact is, I think, how should I say this? Like, okay, let's go back to last week. How they showed characters, I'm guessing, from, like, other arcs in this series, and I was thinking, like, oh, okay, like, yeah, I can see this show kind of setting up, like, season three, but then at the same time, it's, like, because we are so close to the end of it, I was, like, I think, like, after I recorded, um, I was, like, there is no way in heck they're gonna be, like, yeah, let's go ahead and do, like, a start to season three or whatever and such. I mean, and who knows even if this show is going to get a season three. And then especially the, the other problem is now with Billy and such. And who, because it makes me wonder, who in the world is gonna replace him? That's a really good question, Deidre. I can't even answer that myself right now. Yeah, no, no. Because, like, that, that is the biggest thing. I think a lot of us are kind of really wondering because it makes you wonder, like, how many episodes he was able to film or really voice before he passed away and then who is going to continue or is he going to... It, it's very similar to, like, oh, okay, God, no. Is it? Kind of. Uh, but except that's a completely different thing. We're, we're going to go into Ruby. Okay, ish. Um... This situation on one character and how they had to change his voice actor because of reasons that I don't really like to go into because, oof, it was a long case and th that ish is long. But yeah, I mean, you know, I, I would like to see this show get a season three. And if it does, I kind of hope that they learn their lesson from season two and the backlash that they kind of got with this season and try to improve on what they really need to work on for season three, season four, season five, however many seasons they want to continue on with the show. It's kind of how I very, like, how I feel with Promise Neverland season two. If that had gotten to season three, and if season two was really better than season one, and if they still had to listen to, like, the backlash of fans, like, good and bad about season two, because we all know, like I said, season two was a was good, and then in the end, it became a straight-up dumpster fire. I don't think this was a dumpster fire. I It was, I'll say it was a mess. All I'll say is that. I'll say it was a beautiful mess in a good and bad way um, for different reasons. But this is why I also say you can't always have so many people in a group or in a, um, 
in a meeting on like how you want to do something but so many different ideas saying like okay you want to follow the light novel but then at the same time you want to put your own ideas in it and I get it at the end of the day it's about not only making yourself happy and satisfied with the work of art and project that you've done but it's also very similar that you have to not well hmm, I should really watch my words when I say this okay <laughs> you have to be like still thinking of the people who have like been with this series and such the light novelist any person who's read the manga and stuff like not the enemy only but the, the the big people who have sat and like dedicated themselves to getting like not well yeah dedicating is a word but yeah um getting into this series and loving this series and really excited to see the series be animated and such and it's very similar to like how i was um what like so many freaking series like okay not only dress up darling freaking like yeah we can say just the and say the moon and like anything that like i've read as a manga eventually getting into like an anime and you're like okay i wonder if they're gonna do this or if they're gonna do that and then yeah you get a little disappointed when something that you are like really really excited to be animated and such doesn't get animated or if you've seen like any movie adaptations of a book and you're like yeah i want this one little scene right here to get anime i get that but you can't make anybody everybody happy because then like for an example hunger games or freaking i can't believe twilight um those movies would be like five hours long <laughs> and nobody got time to sit and watch a five hour movie and such i mean <laughs> Yeah, uh, but I mean, I still enjoyed it for what it was. I am sad that this is over. I, I think if I do end up rewatching this, I, I probably will only go up to the point where Osa dies. And then after that, I'm like, that was a good ending. A little sad, but that's it. Uh, I mean, you know, if it has a season three, let's say it's 2022. So let's say 2025, um, they decide to do season three. I, I, I just, I hope. Like I said, they, they take the criticism and everything that they've gotten for people, um, reviewers, whoever, and try to do a little bit better. Don't have a lot of filler. I mean, I like, like, don't get me wrong. I love the filler hell. I love the fact that we got like, what, one or two episodes focused on Raftalia and what she did because that is technically canon to the light novel and everything. But, um, from what I was told, there should have been a lot more in it. So, even if something does get, like, a season three, season four, whatever, I do hope that they do add a lot of more canon as stuff and a little less filler because it's, like, ugh, and such. But, yeah, I really still enjoyed it. I mean, yeah, I, I, I will miss it once again. But, like, I don't know how to feel now. I mean, you know, this ain't my last show. Tomorrow is my last show. <laughs> but, I just, mm. It's just so weird to come to this and being like, to look at my, my past self, how I was a year ago and how I was extremely excited for this. And then now I'm just like, not broken, but satisfied, you know, like you're, I'm just like, yeah, that was it. It left its mark. I, I really think it personally did. In both in good and bad ways for like depending on who it is. But yeah. I think that's all I have to say about it. But <laughs> other than that guys. That is my reaction to towards the entirety of season 2 of the Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course I will see you guys officially like I think what this weekend. Because I think Rent a Girlfriend starts this weekend. Um, for the start of summer anime. Let's also let's say this too. Let's hope and pray that Kana does not play another character that dies. Okay. Because once again Demon Slayer I'm looking at you. I am looking at you. You are look. That's the current the current show that she is in right now, where she has a character that has not died. We well, cause you can't even you have to count Monogatari because technically her character did. But yeah, like please, please let sh <laughs> Shield Hero wrong thing. Let Demon Slayer be the one, the one show where her character don't die. And if you have spoilers, keep them to yourself. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know ish, okay? This is very similar to how I felt with Fate and everything else that I've watched. And someone's like, yeah, I've seen that. 
that. And I'm like, no. No. Hell, I was nice to y'all with the ruby one. So be nice to me. I ain't spoil y'all with it, even though I wanted to. Well, technically I did if you avoided a certain time split. But yeah. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys all next time. <laughs> Bye.